So I have been saving up jewels for a while. I have um, a quad stash tab here, uh, my dump tab, and um, this is um, has 10 rows of jewels plus two extra. That's just what I found in the most recent map. Um, I started saving them, uh, I wouldn't say at the beginning of the league, but I've been saving them for a bit and I don't go out of my way to pick these up. Um, but I was curious if it was even, if what I was doing is even worth it. I occasionally craft them when I'm bored, but I only ever use um, alteration spams um, to do so. And looking for two good mods, then regal it. If I get lucky, I do. If not, I just trash it and move on. I'm going to start by identifying this, and I am going to uh, fast forward that. So I have identified all the jewels, um, and now I'm going to see if it was worth it to pick these up and save them. Um, that being said, um, I think the first thing I'm going to start by doing is searching out anything that has a life modifier on it because those tend to be the most valuable. So um, that or energy shield. Uh, we'll start with life, though. So I'm going to max life. Not <clears throat> It does not look like there is very many of these at all. So that's an easy filter right there. Um, and pick these out, see if they're of any value. Critical strike, poison, that's not, that could be interesting. That is complete garbage. That's not useful. Damage over time, attack speed with swords, critical strike, multiplier, max life. This is solid. Um, totem life, nope. That's okay. Minion life, nope. Attack speed with daggers. Damage with poison. This is solid. Attack speed with one-handed. Maximum life and freeze duration. I don't know. I'll have to check that. And dam physical damage and spell damage. Now that's okay. So all these are not worth anything at all. So I'm going to put these over here to the side. And we're going to price check these right here. Maximum life, critical strike, and poison duration. Anything? Uh, 10 and 100 chaos. So let's see what that looks like. Um, 10 chaos. Okay, that's it's 10 chaos. This one, uh, maximum life, melee critical strike multiplayer, and attack speed with swords, 50 chaos. So let's go over here. I have a tab called Jewel Sales. Um, I'm going to start putting these in. Um, 10 Chaos. This was 50 Chaos. I'm going to put mine at uh, 45. Uh, attack speed, maximum life, projectile speed. 10 Chaos. Uh, maximum life. Attack speed with daggers and poison duration. Oh. Interesting. I'll put mine in at 100. I don't think it'll sell, but it doesn't really matter. And um, let's see here. So max life, attack speed with one-handed weapons, and uh, mana per hit. 50 chaos? Okay. So I just listed um, 210 uh, chaos, and that took me approximately one, one and a half minutes. Uh, let's see what else we have. Let's type in maximum energy shield. Uh, is this automatically going to maximum energy shield? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, Chance of black spell damage, spell damage, max man. This is this might be solid actually. Um, ten chaos, I guess. Fire damage over time. Uh, no, this energy is not good. Um, let's check this. Maximum mana. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Uh, 
no. I don't think so. Maximum energy yield, area damage. Uh, we'll check it. Eh. Nope. No. Okay, so I don't think any of those are overly valuable. Now comes the really fun part of looking actually through this. So um, the only thing that there's a couple jewels that tend to be valuable and it's with all um, it's ones that have like multiple resistances that are really high and um, ones with fractured mods and then ones with like all four or three crit mods on it. Now I'm going to look through this and see what else there is. So I'm going to go critical. Okay, there's a lot of those. So let's see. I'm looking for things with multiple critical or attack mods. Maybe. We'll check this one. I don't care about the elemental resistances initially. Okay, this one might actually be worth it. So we'll pull that one out. Okay, I'm going to check a couple more things here and just to see if anything is valuable. So I'm also going to check area damage and I'm going to check damage over time uh, to see if there's any um, any jewels with multiple stacks of those. I know I can be double checking some of these here, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. Well, this one's interesting. I'll take a look, see if it has anything. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm going to pull that to the side. Okay, so I don't see anything else being overly usable in here at this point. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna take all these right here that I didn't see, that didn't seem to be worth anything and just chuck them right back in the tab here. kind of put all the jewels back in um, where they were. Everything is in my inventory. They didn't put in the sales tab. And it looks like I put up um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is part of 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That means I put up 14, 15, 16. I put up 16 jewels for sale in the jewel tab out of the total 242. That is not a very good ratio. In fact, um, for picking them up, what, 16 out of 242? So 6%, 6.5% of the jewels were potentially usable and might sell. Um, that is not a very good ratio. I'm going to take a wild guess that this is probably why people often turn jewels after they reach a certain level, like at past the beginning of the game. This is probably why they turn it off. Um, I imagine that this would potentially go down even further. Um, I, I, it might stay right around. 240 is a solid sample size. Um, I'd imagine if I filled the whole tab, I'd be, it'd sit right around the same number. Um, that being said, I'm going to show uh, two things here. First one, we're going to take a single... Uh, Crimson, a Cobalt, and a Viridian. And I'm going to show you how I would craft these if I'm crafting these. I would not use anything but Alteration Spam, so I'm simply going to go like this. I'm looking for multiple useful mods, and I'm specifically looking for Life or Energy Shield. And I have a ton of Alteration Orbs, and I pick these up constantly. And this is one of many p possible uses for these, but... Um, Okay, double critical strike is really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, 
and regal this and see what happens. Damage over time. I'll check the value. I don't think it's worth anything. I'm not going to bother scouring that. That's a waste of a scour. Move on to the next one. I'm scouring this for the sake of the uh, showing, but uh, normally, as I said, I wouldn't bother scouring. Alt spam. I'm holding down uh, well, shift on my keyboard so I can do this. Oh, that's critical strike, and that is pretty solid. Nope. Critical strike chance with fire area damage. That is not good, so I don't care about it anymore. And uh, I do the same thing over here. Uh, and go ahead and uh, transmute it and then see what happens. This one I'm going to go until I hit life. I just missed mana reservation efficiency, which is very good. Maximum energy shield, that's good. There we go, that'll work. Damage over time multiplier. Okay, that's really solid. And regal? Reduce mana cost. Uh, this is pretty solid and might actually be worth something. 25 chaos. Um, wrong tab. There we go, jewel sales. 25 chaos. And that's all I do. Um... That being said, I'm going to show one more thing. Um, I'm going to start by pulling out this. I have no idea if this is what I'm about to do is worth anything or not. And uh, maybe it's a waste, maybe it's not, but I guess I'll find out. I'm going to re have to resort these here in a minute. But I have a considerable amount of vol orbs that are completely unused. I'm going to vault every single one of the remaining gems to see uh, what happens. Um, stuff like immunity to corrupted blood is really useful. So, um, and it changes all the, uh, it can change all the properties. So let's see what happens. And you can get some uh, potential for um, legendary items. So let's see. You know what, it might be faster for the rest of this if I just go like this. Yeah, there we go. Then go over here and uh, just try to figure out where I left off. I think it's in the third row somewhere. I don't know what else I would do with these vault orbs, so I figured uh, why not use them. At least not 369 of them. I know I can use them on maps, but... Uh, Trying to level as melee, which I have said in another one of the videos, is rather difficult, and corrupting them just makes it all the more difficult, which is why I am not haven't corrupted many maps this league. I'm pretty sure I'm actually um I'm probably gonna start a or work on a different character here soon because leveling is just so frustrating as melee. And I, I understand that I can go and potentially uh, pay to get carried doing five ways and whatnot, but I just I find that so boring and I, It's not something I'm interested in doing. I'd rather level myself and um, since I can't seem to do that with uh, This character I'm going to Start a new one All right, let's make sure I didn't miss anything corrupted Okay, I didn't so I have Even after that I still have plenty of all orbs left those are worth, what, like a chaos each? So, eh. There's all the unique ones. Let's pull it. Let's start by pulling these out. Okay, there's all my unique jewels that I've found. I have no idea if any of these are worth anything. I know the efficient trainings generally aren't. Um, if they're perfect, they can be. This one is, actually, so... I'll go ahead and put that up for uh, 5 chaos. Not that 5 chaos... 5 chaos really isn't worth m too much time, but I'm already doing this, so somebody will buy it. I think it was 5 chaos, wasn't it? 24? 10 chaos. I'll put it at an 8.
Oh, that's nice. 45 chaos? 50 chaos? We'll put it at uh, 60, see what happens. So I was at 90, that's 150 now. So far to trade, I've posted, um, I posted a moderate amount just in jewels. At the beginning, I posted around, I think it was around 400 plus one divine. And then I just posted another 150-ish. So I'm at like 550 plus a divine worth of jewel sales so far. Um, once again, they have to sell, but is what it is. Not too concerned about. I'm going to go ahead and vendor these now because they are of no further use to me. And I will get back absolutely nothing worth anything in return. All right, there they go. Pause that in. It's gone. Okay. Now going back over here to uh, the dump tab. These are all corrupted. Now I have to search these again. Um, let's check here. So of these, I need to do the same exact search as I just did one more time. And all of this wonderful stuff now needs vendored. So I guess the question is, in the end, is, is it worth it to collect these jewels? Um, I don't know if there's a good answer for that. I wouldn't, I don't think I would go out of my way to, um, I'm going to get more jewels out of this, by the way. Which is fine, because the amount of currency I get doesn't mean hardly anything. So I'll just have a couple more jewels to check here in a minute. And I'm okay with that. So I can keep doing this till my till this is gone here, and then we'll check the remaining jewels. We'll do that, and then we'll corrupt those if they are worth corrupting, and then... Eventually, they'll all be gone. I can see why de I can definitely see why people turn these off. Um, I would not go out of my way to pick them up, but if you have space, uh, like an extra tab where you can just dump stuff into and not worry about them, um, I could see that being valuable potentially. I mean, I listed um, equivalent to about five divine worth of jewels from this. Now, that being said, clearly nothing has sold yet. And I don't know if any will. Uh, I assume a couple will, but um, there's no guarantee, obviously. Um, that being said, I don't think as a whole. I can see once I, I mean I can see why people turn these off. There's just it's a lot of extra clutter, especially if you don't have extra inventory space. Um, it took so this video is at 42 minutes right now of um, the time I've spent recording, looking through, and checking everything. Um, and 42 minutes for um, five divine that has to sell still. Um, I, I think your time might be better spent mapping. Um, if there's any value to be had in this, I think it's potentially from, uh, from keeping a couple around once you have a ton of alterations. And then if you enjoy crafting, attempting to alt craft a couple uh, for profit and then sell them. It's not too difficult to make a few... Um, uh, a, a fair bit of currency off crafting them, but I would also not use any method other than alt spamming to craft these. Um, because I mean, chaos spamming, the, the, they would quickly become, uh, they, the cost would quickly outweigh the value you're gaining from them. And then I think um, 
Hortocrafting from Harvest is worth far more. Um, you could craft these with Delve. I think that might also be worth it if you use just the single incubators. If you're looking for a very specific mod, or even the uh, the what are they called? The uh, fossils. Here we go. Okay, so if you use the uh, potent chaotic resonator with like life and um, uh, life and whatever else you're looking for, or energy shield, and whatever else you're looking for you might quickly find that that becomes um, uh, valuable. I did not know that was sitting there. That's a rather expensive amulet. What the heck? I, I guess as I was crafting this at some point in time uh, for this build, um, potentially I guess I need to do so. Well, let's identify the rest of these here. See if there's anything good in here. I'll just look through these individually, and then if they aren't good, I will corrupt them. Oh, nice. Ooh, that's an interesting combo. 120 chaos, nice. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and put mine at 100. You know what? I'll finish off by crafting the, the two remaining jewels. Let's see if we get anything noteworthy here. So I'm going to scour it. Transmute. Alt spam. Okay. See what this does? No, that's unfortunate. Corrupt. Not worth anything. Multiply, okay. Area damage. Increase. Okay, this is actually really solid. Um, I'm going to check all three of these and see what this shows me. 50 chaos. Nice. Um, if, if Once again, if I were to do this, um, I would just keep a couple around. Uh, if you have an empty stash tab where, once again, where you can just dump a bunch of stuff into, that might bring some value to this. If not... I don't think these are worth uh, keeping on. If you use a filter blade to uh, manage your filters, uh, to manage these, turn them on and off, you're in, you load into whatever filter you're using, go down until you see uh, jewels right here, and then you can turn these on or off. And we those are normal jewels. And as you can see, um, once I, at the beginning of the game, I have these on. And then I, I, I'm not going to turn these off because I do have the dump tab to keep them. And 50 minutes, uh, I, I'm close to six divine worth of them. And I don't mind doing it. But I, once again, I don't go out of my way to pick them up. It would be far more convenient, in my opinion, if there was a... I don't think, I don't think there's a stash tab way I, that I can auto sort those because that would be super convenient. Let me see here real fast. Nope, that's unfortunate. I, I, I wish there was an affinity for um for jewels. Um that would be super useful for sorting those just into a tab by themselves and then uh and then working with them. Um but as it stands, I think for most people it's probably not worth it other than have a few around to use um to use alterations on to get something uh uh nifty. This right here is actually worth um exalting. Um, uh, this is for a video that comes later and you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just use the exalt and uh, see what it does for the damage with maces, more damage. Um, I, this might be, it's not even on there. I'm going to post that at a hundred chaos. Uh, that being said, that's garbage, and this right here is the last bit. Um, well, uh, conclusion, really brief. If you have the room, it's worth picking them up. It's not worth going out of your way to pick them up. 
Um, it might be worth crafting a few every now and then if you have a bunch of alterations in order to um, use up uh, as it's an easy craft. Also, Delve might uh, might have some uses out, out of them um, past that. Uh, if you just need, if you don't have the space and need to remove clutter, I would turn them off. Um, yeah, eh, that's my opinion though. So 